System.io versus Kajabi. If you're wondering which platform is right for you, inside of this video, what I'm gonna do is actually compare both of these platforms from a person that's actually used both of these platforms. So by the end of this video, you'll know exactly which one is right for you. And just before we get started, if you decide to choose either of these platforms, I've got an extended 30 day free trial for Kajabi. I've also got the free plan link inside of system, which will give you my bonus accelerator course. So if you wanna get either of those, make sure you use the links down in the description. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing I wanna cover is the features between both of these platforms. So inside a system, if you come to features, you will see down here, it can create sales funnels, email marketing, website building, affiliate management, automation, webinars, online courses, blogging, and selling products. And honestly, they've actually done a lot more than this as well. They also have things like communities also, but they haven't updated their page for some reason. It might not be a big focus at the moment. Now, if we go to Kajabi and we go to products, you can see down here, they basically have online courses, coaching podcasts, memberships and communities. Plus they have all the marketing things like website builders, email automations, as well as workflow automations. Plus they have a lightweight CRM, which system.io also has. Now I have to admit, Kajabi has slightly more features in terms of things like creating your own podcast and hosting it in Kajabi. It's also got a more of a premium coaching vibe to it as well, as you can create coaching packages and have all of your um, clients inside of one dashboard and also has a really strong community feature. Whereas if we actually check out in system, the community feature is new. It's not quite fully evolved, but it is something that is a work in process, progress, I should say, but it is something I will show you on the back end. But just before we go onto the dashboard, I want to quickly show you some pricing because this is also going to be something that determines a lot of um, people's choices. So the first one inside a system, you can get started for free. You actually get 2000 contacts for free. You can send unlimited emails. You can have one email campaign. You can also have your own online course. If I scroll down a little bit further, uh, right here, one course, you can have unlimited students. You can host your own affiliate program and it's got plenty of other good things as well. Now in Kajabi, for $89, which is the lowest plan, you can only have 250 contacts versus Systems 2000. You can have one product and community, just like System. You can have one website, which is just like System. The other thing to note though, is you only get 7,500 marketing emails sent out. So for example, if you had 1,000 contacts, you could only actually send out 7,500 yeah, emails to those people in a calendar month. And that's going to determine your marketing emails. Whereas in system, you have unlimited emails sent. So quite a big difference between these two platforms. Once again, Kajabi is probably more of a premium type of feel. Whereas I like to look at system as the kind of no frills powerhouse when it comes to marketing. As we go up the ranks, you've got the $17 per month. The only real big differences here is the amount of contacts, the amount of email campaigns. Uh, automation rules, things like that. Plus you get more online courses as well, five courses. You still get unlimited students uh, and five communities. So plenty to go on there, $47 a month. You get 10,000 contacts uh, and everything else just scales from there. And then you've got the unlimited plan, which is literally unlimited every single thing inside of system. Insane for the value. Honestly, there's nothing more valuable than unlimited contacts and unlimited sending for $97 a month. Now, if we go to Kajabi, if you outgrew the 250 contacts, you would then go to 10,000 contacts, which is $149 a month. You get to have three digital products for that. If you grew, outgrew that, you'll be paying $199 for 25,000 contacts and have 15 digital products. And then finally, for the 399 plan, you'll get 100,000 contacts and 100 digital products. Now, the highest plan here, the pro plan, $399, you can have 100,000 contacts. In system, their highest plan is unlimited. You can have unlimited. So honestly, if you're scaling past 100,000 contacts, systems plan is insane. Now there is one little bonus trick that I should show you about as well for both of these platforms. If you decide to do yearly on any of the paid plans inside of system, there is actually a really cool thing inside of here and I'll actually just find it right here, free migration. No matter what platform you are currently on, system will actually move every single thing into the system platform if you join any of the paid yearly plans. So $170 is going to get them to migrate your entire business. Imagine if you had, you know, what's this, 
5,000 contacts, let's just say you had three digital products, automations, email campaigns, everything, they would migrate everything for $170, plus you would still get a year's worth of access. This is something people don't understand how powerful it is, but this is probably one of the big selling points for system. It's cheap, it's functional, and they can migrate your entire business under the yearly plans. And for Kajabi, the only really cool offer that I can actually offer you is after, you can have, sorry, three months on the growth plan, which is $199 a month. I've got a special um, code where you can basically click the link down below and get three months for uh, only $99 of the growth plan. Um, but apart from that, they don't have any migration or anything like that. So something to keep in mind. So now let's go on the back ends of these two platforms. This is System and this is Kajabi. Now straight off the bat, if you looked at both of these, you probably think Kajabi is probably a little bit more attractive. And to tell you the truth, it is. Once again, I like to look at System as a no frills type of website and Kajabi is more of a premium feel, but keeping it nice and easy. Now I will show you a few of the features really quick. So the first one, if you're looking at Kajabi is probably going to be online courses. So I will show you what the courses experience looks like. Um, so I created a demo on here. I'll just quickly open it up. Inside of Kajabi, I will do the same exact thing. Okay. So this is the system course interface. There are no templates. There is only one to choose from. And inside here, you can create basically modules on the left, lessons underneath, and it is really quick and easy to create. Now it is hosted there. The only issue I have with systems videos is if you right click on any of the videos, you can actually download the videos. Now you can get around this by creating your own Vimeo subscription or another type of platform and embedding the videos in there. But it is a bit of a shame that they've made it so accessible for people to download videos from their course hosting. Now, if you go inside of Kajabi, this is their most popular template. It's got a really nice premium feel. You can't just download anything inside of it as they use Wistia for hosting. But inside here, everything's hosted, it looks good. And honestly, Kajabi is really well known for their course layouts. So now let's actually compare the communities features in both of these platforms. So this is a system community. It is very basic, but it is functional. There isn't as many features inside of here, but the nice thing about it is you can access the communities and courses inside of one tab. And what you can basically do is write posts in here, schedule posts. There is a few um, admin sort of features you can have, but it is still very basic in terms of what you can do. And in terms of what Kajabi looks like, this is a Kajabi community. You can see it is very well polished. It's got things like challenges, meetups, leaderboards. You can actually host live videos inside of here. You can create offers as well. So it is a really, really good platform in terms of a community. And it's been around for a very long time. But what's interesting though, is when we actually start getting to the marketing side of things. So this is Systems Funnel Builder. This is just a... Um, for a tutorial I did on another platform, and this is with um, Kajabi. This is once again for another tutorial that I did. The funnel builder inside of system.io is nothing short of incredible. You can do basically everything that you'd want to inside of here. It's got infinite options of basically how you can build it. I've tried replicating some of the most complicated websites with system, and I've had really easy experience actually doing this. If you wanted to create anything, for example, you could drop in a section at the top, you could drop in a row, you could drop in how many columns you want, and basically just drop the bits and pieces wherever you want it to go, you can move it around. It's just really simple and easy to use. Now if we compare it to Kajabi, and I'll quickly load this page builder, this is honestly one of the things that really annoys me the most, is Kajabi has been created so you can't necessarily break it, is what I have led to believe. So for example, if you wanted to add in something like um, a video, like it's, it's just hard to move things around, right? It's not just drag and drop. It's, it's kind of built in a way where you can't really break it, but it's also very plain in terms of customization, right? So if you want to add in bits and pieces, right? It's just, it's just technical. I have to click add sections, choose some text, I have to add it and it gets added to the bottom. And then it's just, it's just lacking a lot of page building features, which a lot of people need. But if you're happy with just using what's already there, editing it, you're not really worried about conversions on a funnel, that's absolutely fine. But once again, I think it's honestly a very important step and Kajabi is kind of lacking in that regard. 
And this is why I see a lot of people actually having to use a third-party software with Kajabi, something like Thrivecut or Samcut, which isn't cheap by any means, but it's just to help increase the conversions and then they use the Kajabi tools on the back end. So something to think about. System.io is insane when it comes to actually marketing software. I've had some extremely high conversions using this platform. Um, Kajabi, I find a little bit frustrating. And then in terms of email marketing, this is system.io if you want to create an automated email campaign. If you open up the campaign here, you've got these settings of how it wants to go. If you want to edit the email itself, you have to come inside here, right? And you've got all the drag and drop options on the left. There's not many because it's an email template. If you want to add something in, just click it, drop it, and customize it on the back end from there. Okay, you can upload images and bits and pieces like that. And then once you've finished with the email, you can either put it in campaign view, which is what it is right now. So it sends out one day apart, and then that's your campaign there. Or you can create a, a newsletter to go out inside the newsletter tab. Same exact build up. You just choose to send it out or schedule it. Or you can create a workflow automation, which allows you to actually customize how you want it to be sent out. Um, I won't go into detail here. I've got plenty of system tutorials on it. But basically, you can choose what step goes next after that. Now inside of Kajabi, I really do actually like how they've created their sequences inside of here. So you've got, first of all, your triggers. You can add triggers inside of it as well. So if you had multiple campaigns leading to the same type of email, you can quickly add in many different triggers. You've also got the option to create many different emails inside of it, just like in system.io. You can add automations to also to each single uh, email that goes out as well. So there's plenty to use inside of it. You've also got different options of things like events. But apart from that, that's all you really need to worry about between these two platforms. So if I was to summarize exactly what the differences are between System.io and Kajabi, apart from obviously the price, then Kajabi has a more premium feel for things like communities as well as courses. It is a little bit more polished in those regards, plus the onboarding in the back end is really easy to use. The trade-off from that, of course, though, is the sales funnel functionality inside of system.io is far superior. It's also slightly easier to sell digital products on the back end too. The analytics are a little bit more basic in system, but they do the same thing as well. And of course, the price is the big difference between both of these platforms. System is extremely low compared to Kajabi, which is a very premium price. So at the end of the day, it all depends on what you're actually trying to sell. If you want to have courses and a community in one place, Kajabi may be a better option. Or if you'd prefer, use sales funnels and courses and maybe a community elsewhere, system.io is definitely the best way to go. You can get unlimited once again for $97 a month. You can also get migration for free on any yearly plan. It's an absolute steal for marketing software. Anyway, that's it. That's my system.io versus Kajabi comparison. If you've got any questions, let me know down below. I've also got those bonus offers in the description, but that's it for this video. I'll see you on the next one.